Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to explore Docker networking. Whether you're new to Docker or looking to expand your knowledge, this video will cover everything you need to know about Docker networking. We'll discuss basic concepts, different types of networks, and wrap it up with a demo to show you how to set up and manage Docker networks effectively. By the end of this video, you'd have a solid understanding of Docker networking and how to apply it to your own projects. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what Docker networking is and why it's important. Docker networking allows containers to communicate with each other, with the Docker host and with the outside world. This communication is crucial for the functioning of containerized applications. Docker provides several types of networks and each of them is designed for specific use cases. And understanding these network types and how to use them is key in mastering Docker networks. Now let's dive into the different types of Docker networks. First, we have the bridge network. This is the default network type and is used for communication between containers on the same hosts. And bridge networks are ideal for simple applications that run on a single Docker host. Next, we have the host network. Host networks use the network stack of the Docker hosts, meaning containers will share the host's IP address. And the host can be a remote server, your laptop, and so on and so forth. This is useful for scenarios where performance is critical and network overhead needs to be minimized. Then we have the overlay network. Overlay networks enable communication between containers running on different Docker hosts. This is particularly useful for Docker Compose services, allowing you to build multi-host networks. After that, there's the Mac VLAN network. Mac VLAN networks allow you to assign a Mac address to each container, making them appear as physical devices on the network. And this is very useful for scenarios where you need containers to have direct network access. Finally, we have the non-network. When you use the non-network, containers have no network access. And this is particularly useful for isolating containers completely from the network. For the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on the bridge, the host, and the overlay networks. Next, let's talk about creating and managing Docker networks. Create a Docker network. All you need to do is to run Docker network create and a name for the network. So to create a bridge network, you need to run Docker network create hyphen D bridge and my bridge network, where hyphen D is used to enter the driver name. And if this flag is left empty, a bridge network is created by default. To inspect a Docker network and see its details, use the docker network inspect command. For example, docker network inspect my bridge network will provide detailed information about the network, including its configuration and the containers connected to it. And by default, the command renders all results in JSON objects. For example, docker network connect my bridge network, my container, connects the container named my container to the my bridge network. Also, to disconnect a container from a network, use the docker network disconnect command. For example, docker network disconnect my bridge network, my container, which will disconnect the container named my container from the network named my bridge network. Makes sense? Well, I hope it does. Docker Compose makes it easy to define and manage multi-container Docker applications. You can define networks in a Docker Compose file and connect services to these networks. And here's an example of a Docker Compose file with network definitions. In this example, we have two services, web and DB services. Both services are connected to the MyBridge network, which is defined under the networks section using the bridge driver. Now let's move on to the demo. We'll set up and manage Docker networks. First, we'll create a bridge network. To do this, we'll use the command docker network create my bridge network. This command creates a custom bridge network called my bridge network. And next we'll run two containers and connect them to our bridge network. 
we use the following commands docker run hyphen d i that's to run it in detached mode and an interactive shell so we'll pass the name name let's name it container one then we need to pass the network and in this case we're using my bridge network and then the image name which is bz box so let's say enter and let's do the same for the second container so let's just modify this to container 2 with these commands we have two containers named container 1 and container 2 up and running and they're connected via the mybridge network now let's verify that containers can communicate with each other by using the ping command and to do that we execute the following docker exec it container one minus ping container two and this helps to check the connectivity between container one and container two and as we can see packets are being transmitted between both containers so let's stop that with control c and next let's use a host network we'll run a container with a host network using the following command docker run then the dash d to run it in detach mode let's enter the network type or bridge as hosts yep hosts and then a name for a container so let's name it my web and let's use the nginx image this command runs a container named my web using the host network meaning that the container is sharing the host's network stack so my laptop's network stack and to verify the host network configuration we can use curl to access the nginx web server by navigating to http localhost so let's try that so curl http localhost we have an error it says failed to connect to localhost port 80 could not connect to server so this is a known issue that is caused by a docker for mac limitation docker for mac does not behave exactly like docker on the linux machine and the network host might not work as expected because docker runs inside a virtualized environment on mac and network behavior can be different so we'd have to resort to using a port mapping instead so let's run docker yep sorry docker run dash d and let's map port 80 on our local machine to port 80 in our container and let's give it a name and let's give the container a new name so let's call it my new web but still use the nginx image so there's an error so let's modify that so there should be a dash p to map the port i think p and let's run that again another command which says the bind address is already in use so let's map a different port on our local machine to port 80 in the container so let's do port 81 and run that again again another conflict error so let's modify our container name so let's name it as my web and let's give it a one right now our docker container is running fine so basically what we've done is We've mapped port 80 off the container to port 81 off the docker host which is my laptop in this case so let's give curl another shot so we do a curl http local host and in this case we use port 81 and as you can see our nginx container is running using our host network before we wrap up this episode Let's talk about troubleshooting Docker networks. Common issues include connectivity problems, misconfigurations, and resource limitations. 
So let's look at some tools and commands that come in very handy. First, let's use the Docker network inspect command to inspect network configurations and connected containers. For example, let's run a Docker network inspect my bridge, sorry, bridge network. And basically we can see that container one and container two that we created earlier are connected over the MyBridge network. So you can see the name of the network, its ID, the time it was created, you know, the driver and a lot more details. Lastly, let's use the ping command within one of our containers to test network connectivity. For example, so first let's list our containers, docker ps, and we can see our running containers Let's use the container one. So let's do a docker exec dash it. Name of the container is container one. And let's ping Google dot com. And basically this command verifies that the container one can reach google.com successfully. In conclusion, Docker networking is a powerful tool that allows containers to communicate effectively. We've covered the basics of Docker networking, the different types of networks, how to create and manage networks, and we've also gone through a demo to see it all in action. I hope you found this video helpful and that you feel more confident in using Docker networks within your own projects. If you learned something from this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with any questions or topics you would like me to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching and happy networking. Bye.